all this time I've spent walking inside his body. I still don't know anything about this world. I don't know its past and I don't know its future. But I'm not deeply concerned about that. I don't even know its present, in fact. I came here with nothing and as nothing. And I'm here as nothing. And I will leave this form, which is the world, which is my body, with nothing and as nothing. And these things are good to remember because when those moments come when we cleave or cling or cherish the ephemeral things of this world, it is good to be reminded in the depth of our being that none of this is lasting, nor I in my present form as the one who loves or hates it. Whatever I choose, I have a sense I choose for those who love God, who love the truth, that it may serve them. Of course, I take joy from this. What else to do? I find this world beautiful. Beautiful in its display. But the thinking mind does not always reflect this beauty. But I know the one behind the mind more than intimately, who is here behind the spoken word and the listening ear and mind. I am that, and I am true. It is good. Indeed, it is good to remember, you know. Whenever we have the feeling to, to take hold of some opinion or some idea or some point of view and call it our own, that we don't bind ourselves to a limitation. There is a time when you must stand up and, and stand firm for what you, what you perceive and what you see and experience and what you trust and love. But don't call it absolute or eternal. Don't even call it true. God alone is true. God alone is truth. I don't know why I'm saying these things right now. But there's such beauty inside from the place where they come from. There's such silence and such such a vastness. I wish I could share. I love you.